good job. What do I do? Put it on airplane? Will that keep it off? Yep, it will. Hello guys, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber, coming to you on YouTube Live. And as you see, I have a special guest with me, Mr. Rob Renfro. Brother, how are we doing today? Good, good. Man, great to have you in here. Those of y'all that don't know Rob, man, you're going to. Rob has so many amazing Facebook communities, and we're going to talk about those in just a minute. Uh, if this is your first time here, number one, welcome to the show. Glad to see you in here. Come on in, get comfortable, have fun. If you've got questions, put them in the comments. Please put a big Q in front of them to begin with, and we're going to try to get to all those. We do tend to get behind because we talk about a lot of things in here. And if you've been here before, man, thanks for coming back. Now, if you are new here and you were looking for something specific, because we will post these videos up and leave them up, if you're looking for something in specific, look, please, Jump over into the YouTube channel, hit search, find out what you're looking for, but come back in on Saturdays. It is great to have you here. So this video, as you see right there, is sponsored by Ferguson. Now, we teamed up with Ferguson because of everything they do for plumbers, plumbing companies, the communities that we're in. Ferguson has been great to work with. We love working with them. Good people over there. And they help us do everything that we do. So first of all, Rob, how are you, man? Good, good. Great, man. Man, man welcome out to the outhouse. That's what we call this out here. Roger's outhouse. Uh, we were kind of thinking compound, community, playground. My community named it the outhouse. So I love it. You're yeah, in Roger's nice. outhouse. Good, good spot to be. Uh, man, we're talking about becoming a plumber right now has never been easier. I'd agree with that. There's a lot of unfilled jobs all across the United States, aren't yes, there? Yes, sir. And then yeah. the opportunity, I think, right now, I think everybody getting into the trade right now, in the next five or ten years, you have great opportunities to be the entrepreneurs because the average age of plumbers in Texas is somewhere between, like, 56, 59 years old, something like that. Uh, don't remind me. I, I know, man. I'm, I'm right there. Well, I just turned six. <laughs> yeah. I turned 60 a week ago. So yeah. last weekend I turned 60. <laughs> And I'm thinking, man, I'm ready to retire now. Yeah. Why do I got to? Why do I got to wait five years? Yeah. Uh, but but do you agree with that? It's pretty easy to get in the trades right now, isn't it? it? It is. There's a lot of stuff going on. We got some good community projects that's going on. You know, the the uh, community college deal with with uh, uh, several people we know, and uh -huh. uh, uh, there's plenty of plumbing companies hiring. You can get in touch with pretty much anyone, and they'll they'll give you a shot. So. Say you're interested in plumbing, you can probably get a job. You know, the, the cool thing is, and, and what I want each and every one of you to think about is, if you're thinking about getting into plumbing, there, there's different ways to do it. Now, Rob has been open shop his entire life. I was open shop, then I got in the union. Now, I was back open shop right before I sold my company. But the opportunities out there are phenomenal. And, and, and you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. But it's up to you how you want to get in. We were talking about well, earlier about Mary Conger. She's over at 
Dallas Community College. And man, they're doing great things. I went over there this last week, uh, or this week actually. Uh, Teeks was there. They put on a course. Uh, Polk Mechanical was there. TD Mechanical was there. So many different people were there. But the cool thing about it is there were about, I'm going to say a thousand from a thousand students from eighth grade to 12th grade coming through there. And, and man, it was really pretty cool. Uh, that's exciting to know. It, it really a is. A lot of good, good talent coming through. You bet. And, and of course, Mary Conger is involved with that. Uh, Mary, another Texas master plumber. And she is actually involved with the college, helping them with curriculum and stuff. She used to teach the plumbing. Now Jackie does. Uh, and Jackie's got a group out at, are you ready? Wilmer Hutchins High School. Mm. And, man, they are building some plumbers. And he said that, I think it's his, I don't know if it's his seniors or his juniors, like five of them are female and one male. That's great. And I'm like, man, I love that. Well, you know me, and and I love to get females into. The Man, trade. It's, it's a great yeah. thing. It's it's such the, a good thing. The opportunities are fantastic for them. Uh, I'm going to jump into the comments real quick. Tyler Foster, good first one in there says, "Good morning, Roger Wakefield. How are you doing today? I am doing fantastic. Happy Saturday to you. Have a great day today." Anthony Noel says, "Hello, Mr. Greatness. Thank you so." I don't know if he's talking to you or it's me. me. Yeah, me. I figured it yeah. was you. Uh, Tyler says, "Hey, Anthony, how are you doing today, buddy?" Uh, Saturdays are going great. Rainy and great. There you go. Get my grandchildren. Love that. I, I love my grandkids. I have so much fun with them. Uh, Tyler says, wow, what state are you from and watching? Guys, and I want you all to think about that because we're going to talk about this in a minute because Rob does a lot of them on Facebook. He's got a lot of Facebook communities that are amazing for plumbers. And, you know, here in the next probably four minutes, I'm going to tell you where they're at and how to go over there and get in those. And I think that's a great thing. Uh, Anthony's in Suffolk, Virginia. And and Anthony, look, I'm going to give you a little secret. Shh. Don't tell Rob. Don't shh, shh. It's between me and you. Ready? Me and you. If you go to Service Plumbers of Virginia, I bet you can get in that Facebook group. Look, I'm... Look, we're, we're going to talk about something in a minute. I ain't going to tell Rob right now, but... Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, some good stuff going on. Uh, I get notified when he uploads a new video or stream. Yes, indeed. Uh, Vinny's in Montreal. Now, now, have you got Service Plumbers of Canada yet? Uh, probably will have about 30 minutes after I leave. You here. know, I'm just <laughs> saying. Uh, Vinny, what state are you from, brother? There we go. Uh, hello, Roger Wakefield. How are you doing today on a Saturday morning? Look, I'm doing good today, but I, I got to tell you, last Saturday was sad. Last Saturday, I may have shed a tear or two. Uh, maybe not, but but possibly, you know, last Saturday was Texas OU, Red River, Red uh, River Rivalry. That's and, not talking about. And man, that. I'm a diehard. I mean, if, if those of y'all that can't tell, oh, they got me zoomed in tight today. You can't even see my my helmet up here. But, but I got my Longhorn helmet up here. Got my Texas Nebraska football right here. Uh, I'm hardcore, and, and yeah, last Saturday turned out to be a tough day. Tyler, thank you very much. Got our first question right here. Steven Larico says, says, hey. New to plumbing, currently working in a state hospital and thinking of starting a trade program. And after completion, apply to a plumbing job within state within the state hospital. What are your recommendations? Look, I love that. Now, I love it. I want to tell you what I like about this. Stephen, I love the fact that you're looking at going to get your plumbing license and then coming back and applying for a job. You know, when I was young, when, when, when Randy was a baby, and I was first getting started. I wanted to get a job as a maintenance man at an apartment so I could have a have an apartment. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. But you never get a license. No. You're going to be a maintenance man forever. That's right. I love this, Stephen, because you're looking at how do I go outside, get my license, now come back. Now you've got a great gig. I like that. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, that's a great way into it. I've, I've met some good plumbers that come through the apartment. I mean, the, uh, the uh, apartments and the uh, hospital. You know, but they get in and get their license. Yeah. They don't just stay there forever. So yeah, I do. I love don't it. just work there for thirty years and not get your license. Get your license and. Jason Smith's Astros and the Rangers is going to be a great series. So we have the thirty-five or forty-five series, forty-five South to Houston. Uh, so yeah, 
Uh, Rangers, Strohs, you, 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 baseball, in, impartial, not impartial, my, not okay. my thing. Yeah, I, and, and look, I don't watch baseball all year long, but when it gets down to the playoffs, I do. Rangers are kicking tail. That's it has called been a fair way to their fan, isn't it? No, that's just that's just oh. a playoff fan. Okay, I'm just a playoff fan. <laughs> uh Doctor Med Ulrich Sells says first timer from Germany. First of all, Doctor Sells, thank you for being here. Great having you in. Thank you so much. Uh, good to see you here. Brian V says, happy Saturday. Tyler Foster says, hey, Jason Smith, how you doing today on this Saturday morning? It is a beautiful Saturday morning here. And man, here in Dallas, in about an hour, we're going to jump out because, let let me ask y'all this. Do any of y'all even know what these are? So we're going to put them on here for just a second because I, because literally, man, I can't see anything. Can't see Can you nothing. say anything? Yeah, I can't say anything at all. So we're going to set these down, but do y'all know what these are for? Because here in a little over, not even an hour anymore, probably about 45 minutes, we're going to go on a quick break and step outside and take a look at something. Uh, it's 45-year-olds to start in plumbing as an apprentice. You think 45 is too old to start as pl- in plumbing? Absolutely not. No. Uh, well, if, but, buddy, if you think you can do it, Joseph, here's the deal. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. You've already made up your mind. Yeah. Tyler Foster says, hello. Happy hello, happy Saturday to you. Joseph Shantke says, again, no, Joseph, it's not too old. My brother, Mr. Steve Arloa, hit the like button. Guys, listen to him. If you like what you're hearing, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it because Rob's here, hit the thumb down, but hit it twice. Yeah. That way it goes away. It's kind of neat, like the way that works. <laughs> uh, happy Saturday, everybody. Uh, Killer Rob 1998 says, Morning, y'all. Daily Fresh says, Love your content all the way from the UK. Man, I had one of my buddies, uh, Urban Van Life, came to Dallas last week. Uh, we were in Vid Summit learning about videos and social media and, and a bunch of cool stuff. Great conference. Uh, he was in town. So good to see Neil in here. I think, I think in the UK, roofing is plumbing too, isn't it? Man, I don't know. Uh, if you're in the roof, the UK, Daily Fresh, do the plumbers do roofing also? I think they do. That's pretty interesting. Uh, maybe it's metal roofs. Yeah, it's the copper You know, flat seam. There you go. Yeah. I like that. Hello. Uh, Gerardo says, hello, Roger. How are you, sir? And Carlos says, Roger Wakefield, taking my tradesman practical on Tuesday, super stoked. Any advice? Already passed the written portion. Also, thanks for your learning videos. Learned a lot of tips and tricks. Number one, and Rob and I talked about this earlier. I, I've got the UPC study guide. I think that is the greatest training piece of information yeah. ever created. I go straight to the back. I've, I've made a video how I use it. Go straight to the back of the book, look at the answers, highlight the correct answers, and then read it like a book. And then go through, cover the answers, and read it. Any great training advice? I mean, you know, Tuesday's only a couple of days away. I, I would tell you to not be nervous. Go do what you do every day and, and plumb like you plumb every day and you'll pass the test. Do it well. Yep. Uh, you know, I, I'm working on something really cool, too. I've got a dollhouse being built. Oh, cool. I'm going to have a dollhouse here, motorized, lift it up, lower it. I mean, whole nine yards, ordering the fittings. Man, we are going to have gonna be fun. It is. It's neat. I like that. Uh, Tyler Foster says, Roger, uh, love your videos, streams. I like interacting with you. I like your YouTube channel. Tyler, Tyler, look, number one, thank you so much. Uh, I love what I get to do. Uh, I think I have the most amazing opportunity in the world, and I owe it to each and every one of y'all, because I get to do this. I get to talk about talk plumbing. about plumbing That's every right. Saturday. Not just every Saturday. I get to make videos about it all week long. So it, it is. it is really, really cool. And here in another minute and 10 seconds, we're going to tell you what Rob's doing to also help the plumbing communities and invite each and every one of y'all into the group. And you're going to get approved. It's pretty cool. Tyler says, uh, great videos on here. I like learning new things every day. Uh, Yes, I've got safety glasses, but they're not the ones you're thinking of today. Start Platinum says 3D glasses. No. Good try, though. I love that. Uh, Great try. Three glasses for solar eclipse. Look at him. Winter, winter, chicken dinner. So those of y'all that don't know, Dallas is almost in the path of the eclipse. We're supposed to get 81% reduction of sun. So it's going to be fun. 
Uh, Jason Smith says, Tyler, I'm doing great. Working today. It's beautiful here in H Town. You ever do any plumbing down in Houston? Uh, not a not a lot. I did I did a uh, hospital that I basically built everything on skids and just set them Man, up that's there. cool. I yeah. love that. We were talking about that the other day. How prefab and and sections and and portions can be built anywhere in yep. the world, just flown in and dropped in place. It's really pretty cool. Yeah, you could literally put a whole floor of the hospital in with a two inch copper coupling and a, a mission band you know. so so neat yeah it's pretty cool uh three day sg says good morning have my practical exam on monday at austin good luck man i love that look right, I, number yeah. one i'd be I'd, I'd be in austin already but that's just me i love it down there uh three day three days g or three day sg uh look you know like rob said while well, i go look walk in with confidence yeah understand that man look this is an exam on something i do every day Get down there and get comfortable and have fun. It's a test that's made from people doing plumbing. So if you do plumbing, you'll pass the test. Absolutely. Tyler says it's raining in Virginia Beach. Dolly Fresh says you do rough roofing sometimes. Uh, Ason Smith says have a good – it jumped on me. Says have a good day at work today. Have fun, man. Dakota Whitmire says hello. I'm currently in Portland, Oregon. You know what? It's, it's time right to there, go right? ahead and talk about it. So let me tell you something. Dakota, if you get on Facebook and go check out Service Plumbers of Oregon, Rob owns a group there. I sure do. And, and he's looking for good people to step up and help run these, so I like that. Uh, Dakota Whitmer says, hello, I'm currently in Portland and going through the Woman in Trades program, and I'm wanting to be a plumber. Do you have any recommendations specific to Oregon or Washington? Thank you. Dakota, number one, congratulations. Rob and I both support women in the trades and think that, think that that is phenomenal. Absolutely. And, you know, what I'll tell you is, like I just said, go to Facebook, check out Service Plumbers of Oregon. Even if you're not doing service plumbing, you can get in that group and learn from service plumbers because I truthfully think service plumbers are you know, the plumbers that wear the capes every single day. Uh, it's good stuff. Service Plumbers of America. Mm-hmm. Any one and every one of y'all should go over to that Facebook group and, and, and sign up, request to get in. Uh, tell, tell them you saw Rob on here today. He'll get you in. Here's the deal. Man, this is a community of plumbers, for plumbers, by plumbers. That's right. Is there any better way to put it? No, I mean, uh, well, I, I think really the best thing we look back at is that, you know, we, the, the we ra- saved the our rally in Austin. Code. You bet. Because we, we could all join together. Yep. Huge. Robert Bradley says, good afternoon, Roger. Tried to call phone, didn't ring, LOL. So this is a way of contacting you. Have a year of being a plumber's helper. Uh, does some of that count as ours? Robert, it helps if you've been registered as an apprentice, depending on what state you're in. Yep. So I would need to know what state you're in. How have you been doing plumbing? If you've been working with a contractor, did you register your license? Did you get everything set up? There, there's a lot of things to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And if you try to call me, I don't answer my phone. Yeah, I'm just telling either. you. I, I, I'll tell you what I've had people do here lately is they'll try to call me through Messenger. You know, you can go to Messenger and call people on Messenger, and my phone will ring a funny way. I just go in and block them and ban them. Yeah. So if you try to contact me that way, I'll tell you now, I will make it where you can't see anything I'm doing, <laughs> uh, just so you know. Uh, teaching grandchildren how to install a tankless water heater. Man, that is cool. Have you taught your kids how to do plumbing? No, they actually don't want to do it at all. They don't want to do it at all. Not at all. My son doesn't either. That's why he became a pipe fitter. Uh, I can't say I blame him. Uh, So getting into plumbing. First of all, if there's any plumbers in here, look, open up another tab on your computer, go to Facebook, go search Service Plumbers of America. Start there. Request to join, then go in and search service plumbers of your state, whatever state you're in. Yep. Uh, that that that's gonna it's gonna help get you in a community that does wonderful things. Now you see Ferguson right here behind me. This video is sponsored by Ferguson, and we teamed up with them because of what they do for plumbers, for the companies that we work for, and the communities that we're in. Uh, they have got a lot of great tools on their website, in their Facebook group, wherever it is. That, that help plumbers and plumbing companies grow and do good things. So it, it, it's really neat, and, and we've enjoyed that relationship with them. B 
Becoming a plumber. If you walked out of high school today and you knew you wanted to be a plumber when you grew up, how would you do it? Uh, I think the first thing I'd do is make sure that I have some kind of mechanical ability. You know, I can work on stuff. Usually we find that plumbers, you know, they take stuff apart and try to put it back together again as a child, and that's how you know they're kind of going to be a good plumber. Mm -hmm. But if you have a, a desire just to fix and help and – and, and make it right and, you know, work with your hands. That's a really good trade for you. And, and I love that because my dad uh, worked on cars. He mm -hmm. worked on our cars. His car, mom's car, sisters, brothers, cousins, nephews, neighbors, whoever. Dad could work on the engine. He could change alternators, starters, fuel pumps, you name it. Uh, brakes which was a big deal, and, that, and that's where I always get called out. You know, Roger, get inside, pump the brakes. We're trying to bleed it, yada, yada, yeah, yada. Uh, you, you know, and, and, but that's where it started. And it's like, and it's like, hey, Dad, you get inside, pump the brakes, let me go down there. I want to see what you're doing. And he'd show me, okay, loosen this nut. You know, tell me to pump it up, loosen this nut. Once all the air comes out, tighten it back up, then we'll do it again, trying to bleed the lines. And, and man, so many good things. But I think that that led to me becoming a good plumber. Oh, absolutely. You, you know, as that mechanic, as, as that kid in the field that wanted to learn to work on cars and wanted to learn to do it better, it was really good because, man, I was getting my hands in it. Yeah. I was touching the tools. I was playing with them. Uh, and then when I got motorcycles later, I could work on them. I, I remember saving up money and going up and buying a new exhaust for my motorcycle and came home and installed it. When I started my mo my motorcycle, my parents ran outside because it was a whole lot louder. And they come outside. They're like, well, well what is that? It's like, well, I put a new muffler on here. Like, well, how'd you do that? Well, I went and bought one. I put it on. And they're like, yeah, but how'd you know to do that? Um, you know? Yeah, so. Y'all taught me to work with my hand. <laughs> that's the same thing that happened to me. I took my dad's lawnmower. He bought a brand new lawnmower, and I took it to a 1,000 pieces. And he he come home and he said you you got to make it work again so yeah I put, put it, it all back, back together, together and make it yeah. work absolutely and, but I had a innate desire to just take stuff apart I just I had to see how it worked and how it ticked you know and guys that that is huge because if you can do stuff like that okay you you say that you're teaching your grandchildren how to install a tankless water here I love that uh, I, I guarantee you my son grew up learning look you can do anything uh, just get out there and do it here's the tools. You gonna come do it for me? You gonna show me? No, you'll figure it out. I may show you once, yep. but 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 after that, you'll figure it out. So that was always such a big deal. Dougie Fresh, is any tools you recommend as a must-have, even for someone in the UK? I, I've done videos about that, and, and and I've seen you do live stream from supply houses and things. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, your basics. You, you need a level. You need a pair of channel locks. You need a tape measure. Yep. Of a, a multi screwdriver. Then th those are four basics right there. You you no matter where you're at, no matter what trade you're in, you need those. I think the UK does a lot of pro press. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm I'm pretty sure they're pretty big on pro press. Most countries are more advanced on pro press and yeah. stuff like that than yeah. we are. We're, we're, we're slow to the game, but but we do. We, we we get it. It's coming in, so it does work. Tyler says I want to be a plumber and make more money and build a big plumbing company, and I want to be my own boss one day. There's a lot to that. There's a whole lot right there. But yeah, I, I would tell you, first of all, owning your own business isn't always the end all be all. You can make a lot of money as a plumber and not ever own your own business. You can. You know, so. We talked about that in the podcast. Those of y'all that don't know, we shot a podcast earlier, and I'm going to put a link to it down here in the bottom somewhere if I can find it. First of all, let's put this one up here. Uh, yeah, those of y'all that don't know, this Sipping Saturday video is sponsored by Ferguson. Go check them out right there. Uh, actually, I'll let that one run for a little while, and then I'll come back to it. But 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 here's the deal, and, and I like what Robert said. You can make a lot of good money and never own your own company because owning your own company means you're responsible for everything in the world. Every plumber that you have, every apprentice you have, every person you have answering the phone, you're responsible for every single thing they do or say. That's right, and and I say it all the time. You you can make fifteen per. 15 cents on a dollar as an owner, or you can make 20 cents on a dollar as an employee. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, some, sometimes it doesn't make sense to have all that pressure. Man, that, that, that is so true. And, and I never thought about it that way, but man, yeah. the numbers are right. Yep. Uh, 
And, and, and being your own boss one day too means you better be the very best apprentice, the very best tradesman. Yes. And, and then if you're going to become an owner, the very best owner, because you can be your own boss, but if nobody wants to work for you, you ain't going to have a big company. Employees are the key. Man, they're the key to everything. Because me and you both sat there thinking, God, we got so much work and we don't have no one to do it. You yeah. Know? Yeah, I've turned down work. Yeah. Uh, ma- ma- matter of fact, Rescue Air right now, the- they'll pop up here in a minute. Uh, I had Josh in here the other day. He said, right, Roger, right now we're turning down 50 calls a week. That's right. 50 calls because we can't get enough good plumbers in here to run them. That's right. Guys, imagine being a company, and, and we're big. I mean, I mean, man, we're growing. We're doing good. We're doing things right. Don't get me wrong. We're not, we're not the biggest plumbing company in town, but we're on the way. But here's the deal. When you're so big, you're turning down 50 calls a day, and you're still slammed. Yep, man, you're doing something. That's right. Uh, Carlos De La Torre says knee pads versus kneeling pad. I prefer the kneeler. What are y'all's opinion? Also, I find that that go-to bag totes are the best for residential service plumbers. Never knew I was a tool addict until I met plumbing. That's it. <laughs> Boy, that's the truth. Yeah, you can spend your whole life savings on, on tools. When you'd rather buy a new Pro Press than a motorcycle, you're there. Yeah, I hadn't got there yet. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll still buy the motorcycle. I, still I, I, I know. I'll, I'll get the Pro Press. Don't worry about it. Uh, no, no I, I, I love this. Okay, I love the kneeling pad. Do, do you have a pad that you carry I, around? I just or never used either one. I just You just tore your knees. I, I had great knees. So there you go. Like, there you go. Uh, look, I like the knee pad, uh, man. Mine's about two inches thick. You, you'll see it. Out, see it out there. Uh, we use it in the shop, man. I throw it down, get done on that. I spend a lot of time on it out there, getting the Leak Pro slab ready to do everything that we're doing on it. But man, it's it's pretty cool because it does it works. And and you know while we're here, I want to remind everybody. Look, if you're a plumber, and, and I'm assuming that you are because of the questions you're asking, Service Plumbers of America. On Facebook, go over there, check it out, join the group, uh, and then service plumbers of your state. Uh, go over and check it out, guys. Uh, there we go. Shane Stepp says, made it late, got in trying to di- diagnose a humidifier. And, you know, Rob and I talked about this earlier about plumbing. L- look at this. Shane says he's diagnosing a humidifier. A lot of people say, well, that's not plumbing. That's HVAC. Well, absolutely it is. Absolutely. You, you got that water in there. You got a drain on it. You got all kinds of things. And it floods a lot of houses. And it does flood a lot of <laughs> houses, so be careful. Uh, but, but yeah, the you know when, when I got into plumbing, now, now, becoming a plumber has never been easier. I agree with that. But I want you to understand, if you're listening right now and you're thinking, I want to be a plumber one day. I want to get into plumbing. Do you want to get into service or new construction? Do you want to get into residential, commercial, or industrial? Do you want to be union or non-union? There's a lot of things to learn about, a lot of things to know about. Hey, did you know about all that when you first got into plumbing? No, and I think you you miss a, a side of that too. You miss the side of do you want to get into the you know the warehousing or the parts or the Fergusons or the you know. Do you, yeah, there's a lot of ancillary yeah, positions around plumbing that around don't even plumbing, require plumbing. So, uh, I mean, you you. You know, I, I hear it all the time. That oh, I don't want to mess with that stuff, man. If you want to be a plumber and never touch poop in your life, you can these days. There's, uh-huh. there's not a problem with that, you know. <clears throat> and then again, if you want to touch poop, you're kind of weird. Maybe don't become yeah. a plumber. Because uh, I mean, even as a service plumber, how, how often, seriously, as a service plumber, how often did you get poop on you? Well, I actually got it a lot because I had this deal where I felt like people couldn't crawl under their house or cell, so I'd crawl under everybody's house. Yeah, probably. okay, I get yeah. that. I get yeah. that. So that I get sense. into it more than most people do. But, <clears throat> but he enjoys that. I kind of enjoyed it. It's See, kinda just kind of going to throw that yeah. out there. It Ty- always came with big $100 bills, and I, I don't it, know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the part he liked. <laughs> Tyler Foster says, I want to learn how to fix things with my hands and also working with people. And, and you know, that, that's one thing, and, and Rob and I talk about, y'all, you need to make sure, and I'm going to fi- go ahead and find that better now and move it over there. Uh, go over and check out this channel here, and if you're not subscribed, go to it, Trade Talks 2.0. Uh, if Randy or Colton are listening, maybe they can put a link in there. What I will tell you is, this is where, and, and you see the, the, the Trades Academy up here, and I've got the Trade Talks up here too. That's where I do my podcasts. 
And I've interviewed some amazing people. And to get Rob in there today and get to interview him and talk to him. Look, when I got into plumbing, I wanted to be a great plumber. I wanted to learn to do plumbing better than most people. I became a master plumber, got my master endorsement in everything Texas has. So, I mean, man, I did. And then I had my business partner, Josh Kaplan, here a couple of weeks ago. He wanted to be a great business owner, but he did it through electrical and plumbing and HVAC. And I'm like, wow. And then get Rob in here, and Rob wanted to be great at sales and customer service. Yep. <clears throat> and you look at all the different options and opportunities that you have, and it's like, wow, you know, we, we all saw it different, but we all used the trades as a way to get in and do what we wanted to do. And, and it, it really is. It's really pretty cool. And it works together. <clears throat> I mean, a great plumber has nothing to do unless you got a great salesman selling it. You yeah. bet. So, and, and, and a great company to make sure the bills are getting right. paid and your vehicles yes. you know, new and in good shape and stuff like that. So all kinds of good stuff. All works together. ICAST Enterprises says, howdy, had a blast at Vid Summit. Loved meeting you and the team in person. I got to tell you, the Vid Summit was in Dallas, Texas last week. Those of y'all that aren't familiar with it, it is a video marketing conference really for YouTubers. Uh, Daryl Eves owns it. Mr. Beast owns it. And Sean Duras owns it. It was so good and so much fun. Uh Handyman TV says contractor with a handyman name here. I love that. And you know, you know, here's the deal. People tell me all the time. So, so Roger, you hate handyman. No, I don't. no, no. Handyman have a place. They have a good place. They don't need to be working on things that require a license and a permit, plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. Most of those things, not all of them, but most of those things do require that. So that's how I look at it. I say it like this. I won't fix cabinets and you don't fix. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I like, oops, wrong button there. So here we go. Uh, home rapid repair says, do you think today is the best time in recent history for people to start in skilled trades? Yes, absolutely. The, number one, look, look, and I'm going to, I'm going to get on my soapbox and, 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 and look home rapid repair. Thank you for being here, but I'm going to get on my soapbox today. There's a million unfilled trades jobs across the United States. I talked to somebody the age, the other day about an HVAC company in California. They have 90 job openings right now, 90, one company. Mm -hmm. There's a million unfilled trades jobs across the United States. There's a trillion dollars in student debt, yet schools, high schools, counselors, teachers, and principals keep telling kids, if you don't go to college, you're never going to mount anything. You're right. You're going to go to college and you're going to mount up a heck of a lot more student debt. So, yes, I think now is the very best time ever to get in the trades because supply and demand. And, and I've been saying for a long time, in the next few years, plumbers are going to make over $100 an hour on their paycheck. Absolutely. Easy. There's there's no way it can't be that way. There's there's for every person on this show that's that walks in and says, I want to be a plumber, there's a hundred jobs for you. So, you know, that's the problem. There, there's a hundred available jobs right now, yep. kid you not. Uh ICAST Enterprises says that is a problem with all the trades, finding good help. And, and guys, it is. It is it's the biggest problem we run into. E even having Josh in here, we're rescue ready the other day. How many, how many plumbers could y'all hire right now? Right now? Yeah. Right. If you could hire plumbers. We, it, we could probably take 10. Yeah. You know? and, and, and we're probably the same way. Yep. And, and that's just two companies here in the Dallas area. And, and then we have multiple facets of business, so we could mm -hmm. hire probably more than that. Oh, yeah, we, we, we could probably hire 20 HVAC yep. techs. So, so I, th that's what it is. Here, here's the thing, and, and, and ICAST Enterprises says it right there. That's the problem with the trades, finding good help. If you are in the trade right now, I'm going to ask you a question, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm stealing it. There's a book out called The Dip by Seth Godin. And he says, if you're not trying to be the very best, why not? If you're not trying to be the best salesperson, the best plumber, the best business owner, whatever it is, if you're not trying to be the very best, why not? Because the very best make the most money. The very best get offered the best jobs. The very best get offered the best positions. 
Yeah. If you're not trying to be the very best, why not? And if you if you just do simple math, it, it school's about a hundred thousand a year. Three years of school, you're at three hundred thousand in debt. At three years, I'm going to pay you one hundred fifty thousand dollars to run my plumbing truck, and you're not going to have any debt. Uh huh. I mean, matter of fact, you're going to have money in the bank because you've been yeah. making money all that time getting to that point. That's right. Biff Boy Six Thousand says, if I want to become a plumber at thirty four. And I want a decent, decent wage, say $25 an hour. What is stopping companies from hiring someone else for 17 an hour? You are. You're, you're what's stopping them. Here, here's the thing. Number one, I doubt many people are going to pay you 25 an hour to start. Okay? I was paying plumbers, apprentices, $20 an hour. If they came in and let me know, look, I'm a hard worker. I'm going to show up on time. I'm not going to be on my phone. I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to learn and I'm going to grow. You came in with that, that attitude. I'll give you 20 bucks an hour. Now prove it. You come in every day, bust your tail and prove it. You can get to 25 an hour really quick, but you call that a decent wage. Uh, two or three years from now, I'm expecting you to make 30, $40 an hour. Okay. Do you think 25 an hour is a decent wage? Well, I mean, I, I guess I don't understand the, the question because this is the fact is that if you go to school to become something, uh, at the end of that, you're going to have a debt. And in, an introductory wage. Yeah. In our trade, we're, you're not going to have a debt. You're going to have a surplus. You, yes, you'll make a little less. That's kind of how our trade is. We want you to be invested in learning plumbing. We want you to be invested. We're not going to pay you so much that it makes it to where you're you feel entitled to certain things. You, know, you like, bet. It's always been that way. Okay, so, so I'm going to read this again because I, I want to make sure. If I want to become a plumber at 34, number one, you can. You're not going to become a plumber. You're going to start out as a plumbing apprentice, but you're going to move your way up. Yeah. Just, just for clarification only. And I want a decent wage, $25 an hour. If you have no plumbing experience at all, chances are you're going to find it hard to start at 25, depending on where you're located. Here in Texas... If you come in and interview, you better blow my socks off for me to give you 25 an hour as an apprentice. 20 is stretch. 20, 20 is the stretch. Yeah. yeah, 20 is, man, you came in and you lit me up. Yeah. You made me think, man, this kid's got it. Yep. Okay? Normally, 15 to 17 is probably starting wage. But you can get to 25 pretty quick. You just have to come in and prove yourself. In that same token, a, a, a person – that's good, headstrong guys or guy or gal that's going to jump in with both feet, run. They'll be out of that seventeen, eighteen dollars an hour real. Oh quick, yeah, yeah. You, you know? They're not going to stay there long. Yep. Okay. Moise Adams says, uh, "Big fan, Moise. Thank you very much. I appreciate that." Ricardo Granado says, "Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you." Now I like this. Moise says, "Are you opening up the cabinet?" Now I've got the gun safe out there, and it's full of tequila and bourbon. <laughs> Uh, but no, we're, we're not opening up today, man. I've, I've got to get a sponsor for, okay. Any of y'all that know anybody, let, let's just go through the list over at, at Yoder pellet smokers, Yoder grills, uh, Traeger Blackstone, you know, any of these amazing outdoor cooking products, uh, we're, we're, we're wanting to get out there and build an outdoor kitchen, get back out to sipping Saturdays where we open up the safe. We go outside, cook, do stuff like that. So yeah. Any of y'all know anybody reach out to them, say, Hey, y'all need to talk to Roger. They're doing good things. Uh, Cannon plumbing and drain from Austin and Bastrop. Good to have you in the house. Austin's one of my favorite places. I love it there. We, we, we actually went down and spoke at the Capitol during the plumbers rally. So it, it's, it's a cool spot for both of us. James enjoys using the kneeling pad. Uh, are you bringing out the whiskey? No, it's not yet. Uh, what's the rate of plumbers in Texas? Last time I went for an exam, low rate of plumbers applying for a license. Guys, and, and look, th th this is why we're saying right now is a great time to get in the trades. Schools have been telling students for years, if you don't go to college, you won't amount to anything. So the big thing is, Guys, there's not as many people getting in the trades. You're going to make more money. Supply and demand. Look it up. Study it. it yeah. It's amazing. Well, we talked about it earlier. We started out, you, I started at two sixty five an hour. You started out at $4. 475 an hour. Yeah, I mean, now I I haven't seen money like that. And <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> a good uh, long yeah, time. Yeah, since I was a bartender and a waiter <laughs> and, they, and they paid you like that. 
Uh, Melissa says, I want to get into residential, then construction, but my end goal in the unions. <coughs> but, you know, if your end goal is the union, I would say go through the union. Go straight to the union, apply to the union. They're going to pay you more to start out. <coughs> and then what they're going to do, they're going to train you to do exactly what you're going to be doing each and every day. So it's not a bad deal. Yeah, everything has a place, you know, in a time. Go ahead. You can keep talking. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know what she was doing over there. But, but uh, it, 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 you know, the union's not a bad place to come through. It just depends on where you are of how much work there is and stuff, but how you want to do it. Uh, I'm not anti-union. I've always been open shop, but I've never been anti-union. And, and luckily for me, I mean, I've got, got 20 – something years outside the union, 20 something years inside the union. But the cool thing about it is, is look, I used to be an instructor in the union. So I know for a fact, the union will bring you in and teach you to do what you're going to do every day, the rest of your life. Uh, hopefully you get some good instructors that want to teach that aren't just there for the paycheck. Cause I, I've seen that too. Uh, <clears throat> it's pretty interesting. But they're going to teach you commercial work. You're going to learn it from the union. And you're going to learn a lot of things in the union you don't learn open shop. So it's not a bad deal, I, I promise. Tyler says, hey, Roger, have you watched Mikey Pops before? He's a master plumber. I have seen him before. Uh, Moisa says, I don't want to touch poop, but if I had to get the job done, I'll get dirty. It, it Man, here's the thing. And, and, and I tell people this all the time, and I want you to hear it, Moises. Are you willing to do whatever it takes? Because if I hire you as a plumber, you need to do whatever it takes. When you go out to that customer's house, are you willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done? Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. It has to be about a higher power. It has to be about the customer first. And that's that's kind of the creo of the plumber. You know, we protect the health and safety of the nation. So, so for us to be getting our hands in poop, there's something that's not safe there that we're there to fix. Mm -hmm. And, guys, it's not like we just – Put our hands in it and play with it. Yeah. We wear gloves. We wear safety. long sleeves. We, we take off shirts. Yeah. We wear safety glasses. We wear face shields. We, we do what we've got to do. Dane Henshaw says, I just got my master's license, and I want to know what to do next. Well, Dane, that's up to you. Uh, my first question, see, I'm, I'm blooding over here. Uh, my first question to you is, what did you get your master license for? Did you get it because you want to open your own company? If so, you need to start looking to move that direction. If you got your master's license just so you could jump in and say, hey, I got my master's license, good for you. You, you did it. Uh, and, and a lot of people do that. I, I tell people, look, if you're in the trade to me, we should all want to get our master's license. It lets everybody know, look, I, I've studied enough to move to the very top of my industry. When did you get yours? Oh, God, I don't know, 35105. Yeah, I'm 21795. Yeah. Like, and, 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 not... 1990? Yeah, I, I got mine in the 2000s, but but I didn't see a need to until a friend of mine, well, I told you about it earlier. Yeah. But one of the plumbers that I first worked with. Yeah, I cut myself the other day. So I cut Squirt's hair, gave him a haircut. His hair was, you know, halfway down his back. And we shot a video, and we needed hair, so we came up with a great idea. To cut his hair. Well, I used to be a cosmetologist, so, yeah. you know, no big deal. I had hair when I got and here this morning. I, I'm I just know. telling you. He pulled it all out. <laughs> uh, and, and, and anyway, I, I cut my little finger when I was cutting it, but... So, so now I'm bleeding just a little bit, you know. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah, it, dang, it depends on what you got your license for. Absolutely. Jason says, uh, dealing with the public is 100 times harder than plumbing because you can't make every customer happy. You can't, but you can try. Randy, can you get me a rag or a Band-Aid or all Thank the you. above? Thank you. Look at that. That but is, now that is that, service right that there. That right, right there. <laughs> that, 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 okay. People ask me all the time, how do I become a great <laughs> apprentice? I want to tell you all what just happened. I made a comment that, that I had cut myself and I was bleeding. And by the time it got to where Squirt walked in and I saw him, I'm like, hey, can you bring me a rag and a Band-Aid? And, and, I mean, you could ask Rob. He's standing right here. Squirt shows up with a Band-Aid and a before paper towel. It, before I said it, he already had it together. Now, I talk about this all the time because people that say, I want to be a great apprentice, how do I do it? One of the best apprentices I ever had in the union, I was working hooking up fan coil boxes, and I'm up in the ceiling hooking them up, and I look down, and I'm going to look down and tell this apprentice, 
that I need two more one inch nineties and a T. And I look down and he's standing here with them like this. So I look down the holler at him. They're right there. I grab them just like this happened. Then I put them in and start measuring. He hands me the cut pieces already soldered. I mean, already uh, cleaned. And it's like, that is what a good apprentice does. My best apprentice that. ever was, uh, I told him to go get me a pipe stretcher and he come back with two riser clamps on a piece of pipe with two pieces of all thread. There you go. Probably the best plumber I know. We, we, we can stretch <laughs> this puppy out. I, I hook it up to my truck and the winch. Say, let's go. Yeah. Tell me, tell me when to stop. Uh, I think R R Square Colton is at time. We're, we're going to go outside for a minute. I, I hate to tell you all this. Uh, and really, I don't. Uh, we're we're kind of close in the path of a, a solar eclipse. And since Ferguson's on the screen right now, I'm going to remind you, this video is sponsored by Ferguson. And we teamed up with them because of everything they do for plumbers and the plumbing community. Uh, you know, it's really neat. I was speaking at an event in Vegas few weeks back and I get on the airport or, or go to the airport to fly out and I drive by and we're, we're pulling up at the gate and I see a Ferguson truck. Well, the driver pulls up and lets me out and I, I get out, go walking back. Ferguson has a thing. If me and you owned a company and we wanted to change out a, a big commercial water heater or a water heater in a, a hair salon or something or, or say a gym, because I've done one in a gym before that was almost impossible. They have the crews. I can go and cut it loose. Yep. <clears throat> They'll pull it out. They have the crews. They'll come in, pull the old one out, put the new one in, and all I've got to do is hook it up. Man, I walked in, drove up the airport right in the middle of this, and, man, I'm pulling out my phone videoing them saying, look, uh, man, this is phenomenal. Talk to the plumbers. Talk to the guys there. And they're like, look, this is the greatest thing on earth. We go in and cut it loose. They come in, get it out. They bring the new one in, set it right in position. All we've got to do is line it up and hook it up. Yeah, I had a bowler on an apartment complex, and they had this mechanical dolly. Walked it right up oh, the yeah. stairs. And oh, yeah. Boom, They've got the in. tools to do it, guys. Yeah. It it takes the hard part off of us. So all I can say is, Ferguson, thank you very much. Okay. So I'll know which one to go to here in just a moment. Uh, Squirt, if it's time to walk outside, let me know. Is getting pretty close. Okay, we've got a camera out front, so I'm going to switch to microphone number four. Go ahead and put your microphone on, clip it down in your pocket, pinch it on your shirt or whatever you want to do. Uh, check, check, check. I'm looking good. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm there. Guys, I'm going to turn these one and two. Yes. Uh, there we go. So now y'all should be hearing me through this microphone. Uh I'm going to leave Colton in here for just a second because he's going to switch over to another camera. Do we, do we already have the camera out front? Look at that. See, they're squared outside looking at the sun already. <laughs> uh, so, so, so we're going to jump outside real quick. We will keep talking to y'all. I won't see the comments. What? Is there a comment? I'll say squared on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to jump out front real quick. We'll keep talking to y'all out there. Uh, I just want to go out and probably spend five or ten minutes out there. We'll keep talking plumbing. Matter of fact, Colton, will you go in my desk, grab my... Randy, go grab my iPad, log into it. Uh, we'll carry it out front so we can keep talking to y'all. Uh, so I'll hang around here for just a minute while, while they're putting all that together. But the reason we're going outside, I mean, look, we're cleaning our wood spotters, but we're also in the Dallas area. We have got a solar eclipse going on today, so we're going to go outside and look at it. But brought safety apparel, so we've got glasses to help us do what we need to do. And right now, audio good? Yeah, it's good for you. Like okay, cool. Like you hear me? They, like it when they turn me yeah. up. Okay, good. Uh, Kevin Angando says, evening from Kenya. Good evening to you, nice. sir. Uh, I just started college. I'm taking plumbing, and I must say, it's really challenging, especially when one is 30-plus years old. Love your videos. They help me. Uh, hope I'll be a pro. Kevin, Kevin here, here's what I'm going to tell you is, is, look, you can be whatever you want to be. If you want to be the very best plumber in Kenya, you can be. You've just got to say, look, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to learn more. I'm going to do my very best. And you know, we, we were talking earlier, you know, we did not have access to training the way y'all do. We didn't have the, the, I don't even know if we, we had the UPC study guides and stuff like that. Oh, no. <clears throat> I was going to the library to get books on plumbing, and I'd stay up there and look at them. Uh, I wanted to learn how to be a good plumber. 
plumber. And don't get me wrong, I worked with some great plumbers, but I wanted to learn how do I get better. And it was really pretty cool. I worked with a Kenyan dude, man. It's amazing how they do plumbing there. I mean, everything is just cinder blocks, and they have this deal that cuts holes, cuts across the cinder block mm-hmm. walls. To install it inside the yeah, wall. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It is cool. Yeah. It is cool. Uh, James Evanoff says people are getting out of the trades quicker than they're getting into it. Absolutely. We're watching our hourly rates continue to go up. And, James, that's part of what I talk about, too, whenever I say plumbers will be making $100 an hour in the next few years. The reason being is that, well, it's very simple. Like you just said, every year for every 10 plumbers that get out of the trade, only about four are getting in. So again, I I tie everything back to supply and demand, y'all. We're we're probably on track to take over doctors in a couple of years. Doctors and lawyers. Yep. Yeah, and we'll end up making more money. Isn't that a beautiful thing? That is a beautiful thing. Shane says, I know on the last live you asked where I teach at. I'm at Southern Oklahoma Technology Center. It's crazy, but in Oklahoma, there are around three or four schools that teach plumbing. Everyone needs guys. Man, and it's true. And Oklahoma's got a great reputation for teaching the trades. I know I used to be a superintendent and moved up over at Brandt Engineering. I was quality control manager. And a cool thing about that is they would go up to Oklahoma every year to hire their HVAC techs, their service techs. Let me say something about Oklahoma real quick. Uh-huh. We, we have a group in Oklahoma, Service Plumbers of Oklahoma, mm-hmm. and it's it's a pretty big group already. It's well over 1,000 plumbers. But Scotty Ringwald up there is a high school teacher that teaches plumbing in the, in the schools in Tulsa. So if, if you guys want to get on that Oklahoma Service Plumbers of Oklahoma page, if you're looking to be a plumber, Jump in our that's Facebook. a good place to do it. Yes. How can a company compete with other service plumbing companies when they're lower their fees? Number one, I don't, I've never tried to compete by nope. pricing. I don't want to compete with anybody on pricing. I want to compete by bringing the best, best value. And that, that's my thing, sell the value up front. If, Y'all got an iPad ready for me? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and head outside. Are we off here? Guys, we're going to jump outside. I know that y'all can still hear us. Oh, I didn't change. Here, go ahead. I need to change cameras. Okay, you go ahead and head out the front door. I'm gonna flip over to camera number four. Where are we or at? Five. All right, so we are headed outside. Bad time to trip, right? Now it's gonna be fun because I'll have to put on my put on my solar goggles. Dang, this ain't where we can see it. Man, it it is it is kind of dark. Oh, there it is. Man. Oh, oh I see this it. is. up at the sun and I know that here we go get right here okay I know that y'all can see us literally what we see is just like a fingernail eclipse of the sun on probably the the west northwest side of it looking up so we're just seeing a little curvature of the sun right there and the moon slowly moving over in front of it and Randy uh, yeah, that's why I six and say. It's hard not to want to look at it without the glasses. I, I, I know, yeah, but but you'll look up there and you won't be able to see a daggum thing. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go down to the live comments, y'all. This is how I'm going to try. Uh, is there any fear of running a snake and breaking ABS glue from joints? Have you ever run a sewer snake in and broken loose either the PVC or the ABS? Well, ABS, you're, you, you're likely to break the whole pipe anyway. Yeah, because it's, it's thinner and yeah. more brittle. Uh, but no, normally uh, we don't have a problem with that. Uh, Isaiah says, all these shops tell me there's a lot of work coming, but it's just not here yet. Another shop told me they could be waiting for the economy. I'm in the upper New England area. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I'm surprised that you're in. <clears throat> Get on the group. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, whichever state you're in, go to service plumbers of your state, like me, it'd be service plumbers of Texas. Uh, all of you should join service plumbers of America, and, and, and that's going to help y'all grow there and do cool things. Uh, there's a great community there. All right, so I'm having Wi-Fi problems here. It's not connected really good. Uh, it shows I've got good connection, but we'll see. I wonder if it's because of the eclipse. Uh, yeah, it may be just because of the eclipse. Uh, 
Th this is actually pretty cool. Randy, are you able to get a picture of that? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, he got lost. Yeah. He got lost? Here, take a picture of mine because I'll go ahead and plug mine in if yeah. I have the adapter. Colton can't do it with his iPhone stuff. Oh, he can't do it? Stuff. Oh, does so it? Well, got well the I've, got the, I've got oh. the 14 Pro Max. Here, so, I'm just saying. There you go. Yeah, you can just touch it and figure out which screen. So, so guys, we're, we're, we're trying to do some different stuff out here, as you can tell. Uh, if you're in an area where you can see the, the, the solar eclipse or it, you're in its path or anything like that, do me a favor and put in the comments where you're from, what you do for a living, and what you can see right now. Poncho says, imagine a world without lawyers now. Imagine a world without plumbers. Which would you rather live in? Dude, that is beautiful. <laughs> I, I do. I, I love that. Uh, that that is fantastic. Shane Stepp says, "Oh yeah, I actually know Scott. We had a career tech meeting in Tulsa earlier this year. Talk about your guy. Yeah, uh, he's doing a lot of good things. Good deal. I'll get a job. I'm just eager. Isaiah, brother, just keep looking. Is there any tricks to filling dirt back into a hole that you dug underneath the slab? Yeah, you want to compact the heck out of it. Uh, it, it. It really is a big, big deal. Did it? Oh yeah, that, that is cool. All right, so I'll put my glasses back on before I look back up at the sun one more time. Uh, I know it's about time to head back in. I'm videoing it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but see, you can't you can't see the good blockage of it. Let me try something. Keep keep videoing. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it'll let me do what I what I what I think it might. Let you look at my. Oh, I see it, but but it looks like the whole sun's there. What I want to do. Oh, let's find out where. Okay. Yeah, there's a little space between. Oh, there it goes. Kind of works. Not too shabby, huh? Uh-uh. Let's pull out just a little bit. Oh, well. As y'all see, we're, we're having fun. Okay, let's head back inside. Okay. All right, Randy, you got it? Yeah, here you go. If you want to plug that in the truck. I'm going to plug, plug this in on the inside. We're headed back in, guys. So, so don't give up on us yet. I just wanted to get out and see the the solar eclipse. Actually, pretty cool. Kind of chilly today. It is kind of chilly out there today. All right, so we are back in. Uh, I know some people dropped out. It's okay. Uh, we just wanted to go see it and see what was happening. I'm going to scroll back up and jump back into the comments where we were, guys. So not... Not the live ones. Uh, one further down there. How's everybody doing? Are y'all having a good day on a Saturday here? I hope that means yes. There we go. Jason said, yeah, I do. Oh, I don't have the adapter in here to plug in. Oh, well. Oh, okay. I'm going to go back to microphone one and two. And we're going to turn down microphone number four. Do a mic check there, Rob. Hello, hello. There hello. we go. Good deal. So, hmm. Colton, I, I don't have a way to plug in my camera anymore. Uh, all I can tell you guys, is, man, it is actually pretty cool. Uh, what plumbing specialty is the most profitable? Uh, I mean, service plumbing, in-house plumbing, I believe, is the most profitable. That's my opinion. But I love that, uh, and I think he's right. Because I think as a service plumber, you can specialize in slab leaks and leak detection. You can specialize in whole house water filtration systems. Mm. Well, you got whole companies now like Rooter Hero and stuff that do just drain only cleaning. drains. You, you bet. Know, so. Just drains. You yeah. bet. Yeah, I, I think, I, th I truthfully think, me, for, for me running a plumbing company here in Dallas, that slab leaks and leak detection were, were my bread and butter. That made our phone ring that gave us work drains are huge right now i mean people are just making a ton on drains and and then when you get in and hey will you get me the adapter to plug in to where i can plug my phone in uh then once you get in now you can do a water quality inspection and guys if you do stuff like that if i guarantee t t tell me this you, you you do this more than me if you did a water quality test in every house you walked in, out of 100, how many water filtration systems could you sell? 
Uh, six percent. Six percent. That's the number. If you if you talk about water quality with a hundred percent of your customers, you will sell six percent of them. Six so you're you're only going to sell six out of a hundred. That's right. See, I would think, man, I would think it would be more than that because well, it's, it's because of education. People don't realize their water's bad. So you're you're going so so say you're going to a toilet call and you're trying to explain to them water quality. So people aren't calling you per thinking se. about water. Yes, yeah, so Makes sense. you're having to go explain yourself. You know. Uh, okay, I like that. I like that. Uh, but if you ever want to hear about water quality, get with me. I'll teach you a lot about man, it. Man, it's good stuff. It is it's good. A deep rabbit hole. Uh, if I want to start a drain cleaning business, would you say it is okay to start with cheaper equipment to cut initial cost? I, th- I say start with what you can afford or start with what you have. So anything's possible. Tyler says, Hey Roger, how can you put your mindset to the plumbing trades? It, it's very easy. Tyler, Tyler, look, mindset is what, what do you want to do? What do you, what do you believe you are capable of? It's how do you tell yourself that you can do anything. Look, I can tell myself, if I put my mindset to be a plumbing company that offers services other plumbing companies don't offer, like drain cleaning, like leak detection, like whole house water filtration, I've just got to tell myself, look, I'm going to learn to do this better than anybody else. And and when you start doing that, it it does. It it literally works. So I'm going to show you all. Here's a good picture. Uh, think right there yeah that's what rob and i just went out and looked at uh that, that that's that's a pretty cool picture there that, that squirt came up with uh that is the the i'm gonna call it a total eclipse of the sun just because it's a great song but 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 it's it's not uh about 81 percent is what we got to see watch this i'm gonna make it move look at that sun moving across the sky Isn't that cool? <laughs> uh I- I- anyway um, so, so that's what we went outside for. Uh, thank y'all for giving us that opportunity and that time, uh, got to go out and do that and look at that and show that to y'all. Uh, but we're here outside the Dallas area. If you're Southeast of us, you're getting a better view than we are. I would say if you start with cheap equipment, then you will have a, a major hurdle to get over later. You, you will because, and, and, and here's my deal. I'll tell you exactly. And, and I can't find my link now. I guess I clicked out of it. Uh, when I first started doing sewer camera work, I rented my cameras. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the repair guy out there in a, a Heath. Yeah. Uh, what, underground site utilities. Man, I used to go out there and rent a camera. Now, what I would do, I would book three calls in one day and say, okay, look, guys, I need to run a camera down here. I'll do it Thursday. Yeah. And then I'd book another one Thursday. I'd book another one. Then I'd go rent the camera. I'd either get out late, late Wednesday or be there Thursday morning when he opened. Then I'd run those calls, and I'll tell him I'll bring it back either Thursday evening or Friday morning before you open. So I'd get one day's rental, but I'd have it for that whole day. Also, network. If you if you know other plumbers in the area, you know, and they're maybe starting their own businesses, network, maybe get some guys to do some stuff for you on the side. Can be huge. Yep. Can be huge. Uh so, so, yeah, remember that. Uh, but, look, mindset, man, Dude, you've bro. got to determine you want to be the best. That's what it is. Uh, if you work for a plumbing company. So, Tyler, if you work for a plumbing company, you've just got to – look, if, if, if me and Rob work together, Rob is great at sales. And if I develop the my, right mindset, I'm going to show up and say, I want to learn from him every day because I want my numbers to surpass his. Yep. Now, if he's my boss, if he's my manager, he loves that. Because he's going to be making money off me anyway. And if I come in every day, Rob, look, I want to learn. I want to grow. I want to get better. He's going to take time to teach me. You know, I've had so many people in on my podcast, and we've got the link up to it there at the bottom. I've had so many people in on my podcast that literally are like whenever they walked on the job, they wanted to work with the old man. They wanted to work with the old grumpy guy because they knew – he would teach them things that nobody else knew. But it's selective. It, it is. If, if that person's not showing you what you want to see, then you select what you tell them. Uh, absolutely. And show them, you know. And, and, but remember, too, you've got to come and let people like us know, look, I want to learn. I want to grow. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Tyler, you do that, you're going to be great. 
Uh, the Plumber's Plunger is in New Braunfels, Texas. Looking at the Eclipse Now, residential service plumber and content creator. Dude, I love that. Uh, yeah, I just showed you all my picture. We were looking at it just a moment ago. Uh, do you think learning CIPP is worth it? Absolutely. Uh, it's not big in Texas right now, but it's going to get there. And, and I think the the pipelining is huge. It's it's yeah. expensive, too. It's expensive to get into. Chris says, why do schools not teach students about the trades? Just became an electrician apprentice, and my friends are all in college, not knowing what I do or not knowing what to do with their degrees. I could easily make more than them. And, Chris, chances are you probably will. Yeah. I always do the comparison of – Somebody getting into the trades versus a doctor or a lawyer. Yep. And we're close. Right now, we're close. We're close. If they're going to be in marketing, advertising, they're going to get a J-O-B somewhere, chances are you're going to make more money than them the rest of your life. And they're starting out in their careers in debt. One so, of my favorite things to say when a customer says, man, that's almost as much as a doctor charge. I said, I know. That's why I stopped being yeah, a doctor. Yeah, I, I, I know. That's why I'm not a doctor anymore. <laughs> yes. Yes, having a blast. Uh, look, I love what all we get to do. It's amazing. MVM says, are there any online programs? There are. Uh, I don't know that I'd spend money on them. That's why, you know, I, I, I know people that do online leak detection training. My thing is, I wanted to build a slab. I wanted to be able to put a tool in your hand, say, walk out here, walk along this line, and listen, you tell me where you hear it. That is such a big deal to me. I think it's the same way. On plumbing, if I hand you a toilet repair kit and say, go install this, that's one thing. If I show you me doing it on video, you're not going to learn near yeah. as well. So, yes, there are online programs. I just don't know that I'd invest in them. There's I don't, a, don't mean that bad. There's a stress level you can't imitate. And, and when I say that, you don't know what it's like to leave Mrs. Johnson's gas off for the weekend when it's 20 degrees. No, and she's there. freezing. No, and she's, she's got her grandkids over there. That, you know? Yeah. Now, so, now, now I, I will follow up this because Rob and I have talked about this. He's wanting to build digital courses for sales. Yeah. That's something that, to me, an online program, absolutely. You're going to teach me how to walk in, what to look at, and how to communicate with my customer. I'm teaching people about getting into the trades, becoming the best tradesman, starting their own business, using networking and social media to grow those businesses. Those are things you can learn online. You can learn leadership, management, communications, personality styles. You can learn a million things online. I don't think you can learn to be a plumber, an electrician, and an HVAC tech online. There's enough residual money around plumbing that you don't you ever bet. have to touch a tool if you don't want to. You yep. know, you can make money off the trade. I know people that's made millions off the trade that never no, touched yeah, a tool. Yeah, never been a plumber. Yeah. Gab so, says, I've been plumbing for a year but I feel like I'm not learning as fast as I should. What are some things I can do to get better? Number one, Gab, you're, you're there. Uh, start watching videos. Watch videos to see other plumbers do things, how they do things, learn and grow from them. And then, you know, I've got Rob here. Jump into Service Plumbers of, if it's Service plumbers, Plumbing you're wanting to learn about, jump in these groups, Service Plumbers of America or Service Plumbers of whatever state you're in, and post pictures, post videos, ask questions. Hey, guys, look, I'm trying to learn about the best way to, to clean out a drain. Here's the tools I have. What do you recommend? And, and there's people in these groups that will jump in and help you and educate you. Well, fast, too. Like if, if, you, if you post a picture of a faucet and go, what kind of faucet is this? You're going to know what kind of faucet it is before you hit your truck. It's, you not, it's not a bad deal sometimes. Yeah. Chris Case says, I do service plumbing, and we get paid commission off the jobs off the jobs we do weekly. So there's times we get 800 a week or 5,000 a week. It all depends on how many jobs you land and complete a week. And Chris, look, I don't mind commission. Uh, I think commission is a great pay base is a way to do it. I, I think that you've got to hire the right plumbers. You've got to teach them, look, at the end of the day, your job is to take care of your customer, not just to do a million in sales in one week. Your job is to take care of your customers. And I used to, be, because we went to a, a base plus top salary, and I tell guys, look, if I go back and look at the videos or look at what you did and realize you sold Miss Johnson a gas line when she didn't need it, uh, I'll help her file charges on you. I'll write a letter to the state board and say, look, this guy's a crook. So... You've just got to understand 
don't do your job just for the money. Do your jobs for the people. The good weeks are going to come to help balance everything out. Oh, I've been, and I've, I've been a commission plumber for, <laughs> oh shoot, 20 years plus. Mm-hmm. And uh, I will tell you that, that you can be a commission cl- uh, plumber and have every bit of integrity and values and everything that anybody else does. If, if you look at any trade or anything, there's going to be crooks. If, if you know, if you go to the doctors, there's doctors that are bad. There's, you know, but, but in, in general, mm-hmm. you can make the most money at this trade because a commission company is going to pay you everything they can pay you right. to do the job. <laughs> so, and, and when I say that, and I kind of want to spend a second on this because it's important. Uh, if you're an hourly plumber and you're not making enough to cover your wages, a lot of times that'll end up with you being pushed out of that company. Where a commission plumber, you, it's all on your back. It's on your back what you do, you know. It, uh, it makes you understand how yeah. to present the value as to what you sell. Exactly. And, and I like what Rob said earlier. Look, look what, what's the cost of not doing this? That's it. And, and that's really a big deal. Uh, I guess is. The, the training for leak detection that you're gearing up for will be amazing. Look, it, it is. We, we, we've already built the slab. Uh, we've got 11 leaks under the slab. We've got one outside the slab. We want to be able to show people how to find leaks in the yard. Uh, but we've, we're building the equipment so we can literally put it in somebody's hand, put them on a slab, and say, here, there's 11 leaks here. Find them. And it's going to be a neat training program we got. And then we're setting it up, too, where we can teach them to isolate and find the leaks in cast iron. You know, Rob and I talked about that earlier. A lot of plumbers don't know how to do that. Yeah. And to be able to to tell somebody, hey, there's a, a, a main line going here. There's branch lines coming off of it. One of those lines is leaking. Show me which one. Now, isolate it and show me the rest of them aren't leaking. Mm-hmm. And, man, when you're that good of a plumber, it's a big deal, and that's what we're building as to how to teach people. Uh, Biff Boy 6000 says, thanks for the info. One more. Is there a way to – Test quicker to get your license, meaning are there physical tests to take to speed up the process? Hope that makes sense. It does, and it depends on where you're at. In Texas, there's really not. You've got to put in the hours. You've got to understand it. Uh, it, it depends on where you're at and, and how your state or, or city or whatever is set up. And make sure you remember that that you're talking about a trade with so many facets that if you're learning it in a year and going out there and doing it, that's, that's just not – feasible or possible it, i mean it's 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 not but 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 i'm also one of these people look california set up where if i'm the master plumber of a company i can hire you and when i decide you're a plumber you're a plumber i can send you out now my thing is and you've seen some of the trainers i've got i think i could teach you to rebuild toilets i think i could teach you how to fix faucets from dripping i think i could teach you how to swap out a faucet or, or swap out a toilet so i do think that there are certain things i, I wish that we could find a way and they're, and they're looking at it right now how do we speed up that process? Can can I send you out on a job and say, okay, Rob, let me see what you're looking at. Okay, you see that piece there? That's it. Uh, th- this is a way for direct supervision now. Uh, I'm there on a job. I, I, I agree. It's not for everybody. But we don't have enough plumbers in Texas, y'all. We're either going to find a way to shortcut the system or we're going to say any handyman can do plumbing now. We've got to find a way. And it may be, how do, how do we speed up the way if I bring in an apprentice for one year or six months and can train him to change out toilets, do leak detection, uh, do things like that? Is there a way to get him in and get him into a position first where it frees up more plumbers? Well, well yeah, and, and we, we already do that here. So we've got the – at one year, you can become a utilities installer. You bet. So you're already in a position if you're a commission plumber and you're installing gas lines and sewer lines. No, you, no gas. You're, you're creating revenue, right? You're creating revenue, so now you're in a different position. Mm-hmm. So, what what my statement is not to say that you can't do something productive in a year. I'm just saying that right. you you can't be an all around. You, you, and you're and you're not gonna know. And, and, and I know that. Yeah. You know my my thing is I I think me personally. That there, there should be a way to speed up the. If California can can train them in two months, mm-hmm. there's got to be a way we can train them in two months to get them where they can make more money. When you when you tell these kids, look, I can get you fifteen dollars an hour to start out, and then you tell them, yeah, but it's going to be six months or a year before you can start making a lot more than that. They're not interested in that. But if I tell you, look, I can start you out at fifteen dollars an hour in two months, I can get you to twenty. Okay, now I'm interested. Now you have my attention. Six months after that, I can get you to 25. Yeah, it's easy. And after that, I can get you to where you're creating revenue. And, and I think that there's a way to create that training 
to, to help people do that. Right now in, in Texas, you can be a drain cleaner pretty much day one when you get at your apprentice card. So you can right. instantly start making money. You get with a good company that, <clears throat> that'll that train you and help you pass the test, help, help you do all that and get through and, and do some ride alongs and learn. But you can also screw some stuff up. For mm -hmm. <laughs> MPK, you're welcome. Jason Smith says, I had a customer wanted a whole home water filtration system. And if you have to boil water, if you have a boil water, water yeah. If you have a boil water notice, do you have to replace the filtration system? You'd have to contact the manufacturer. The, the chances are no, that that filtration system is there to filter out everything. Is it possible? Yeah. Contact the manufacturer. Go about what the manufacturer recommends. recommends. Noah Giametta says, I just started my apprenticeship with a family business. Any advice? Show up every day willing to learn and do whatever it takes. Be on time. Be honest. And come in with a positive attitude. You do that, you'll make a great living. Treat it like it's your family that owns that company. Yeah. ICAST says, says how about leaving them a digital magazine uh, explaining the benefits of all those other products? That's a great thing to do. Any Anytime you can leave people with information, it's huge. Yep. Matt O'Brien says, is getting into plumbing in the late 30s a smart decision? Any training schools in the Tulsa area? Tulsa has a lot of training. Oklahoma has a lot of training. Yeah, get on my group there. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's and, a good in the thing. late 30s is an amazing time. Uh, you're, you're not going to be making mistakes that, that kids right out of high school will make. So, so yeah, you, you do have great opportunities. Service plumbers of Oklahoma on that one. For sure. Uh, can I work for free for you to just gain knowledge? No. Good try, though. Uh, Global Water Fire Equipment says... Uh, I followed ICAST Enterprises over here, loving the information. These are my kind of people, hardworking, get dirty if needed, and get the job done. Man, that's what it's all about right there. Uh, you get dirty at work? Uh, I try to. <laughs> it makes it, man, it makes you feel so much better at the end of the day. Not as dirty as I used to get at work. Yeah. But, but yes. Sharon Obel says, when I started my apprenticeship, I wish I had started in residential to understand some basics, the vents and things like that. Now all I do is industrial, and I love it. <clears throat> Guys, the opportunities are out there. You can learn so many different things. It's all plumbing, but but there is. There's different things to learn in each aspect. And that's probably the hardest transition is from industrial to residential. Yeah, I industrial think that's is probably the hardest transition there is. Any tips for someone studying for their journeyman plumber's test? Uh, plumbers out here in Minnesota. Yeah, not, number one, the UPC study guide, I think, is the best study guide there is. Yes. Uh, I've got videos where I talk about how I use it. Go to the back, find the answers, highlight all the correct answers, and then read it like a book. Read it through three or four times. <clears throat> if you're in Minnesota, join the Facebook group uh, Service Plumbers of America and Service Plumbers of Minnesota. Yes. ICAST says Wildfires Equipment. Glad you made it over. Tim Reed says, is there work in Detroit, Michigan, and southern Georgia? Guys, there's, there's work everywhere. The population is growing. It's growing across the United States. There is work everywhere. And, and think of all the houses that are there. They're getting older. They need plumbers to come in and fix them. They need plumbers to come in and remodel them. Can, they need repiping. Yeah, guys, there's work everywhere. Especially like Hawaii right now is real big. You know, all the fires, uh, a lot of rebuilding going on there. Detroit has a ton of work right now. That, that, yeah. There's your answer right there. I would agree there, there are many things that e-learning courses teach, yet for the trades, that can only go so far. Absolutely. How long did it take for you to let your employees go off and on their own trust? It, you know, once they get their license, once you, it's different for every employee. You have to work with them and, and get to know what they can do. Yep. Uh, great point. Honestly, uh, servant attitude is the best. Amen. And, guys, I'm speeding through the comments. I'm down to where we've got about 12 minutes left, as you can see. Uh, Tyler says, Roger, how can I teach people about plumbing and how to get my phone to ring, how to start a plumbing company? Guys, look, I, I, I don't know if y'all know this. This is cool. I don't even know if Rob knows yet. I'm working on an app, okay? My app will probably be out in the next couple of months. It you're gonna, It's a membership app. It'll, it'll be free to get in, but there will be – other levels that you can get in to get more access. We're going to be teaching people how to get in the trades, how to become the best tradesman, how to start their own business, and how to use networking and social media to grow those businesses. So it, it's something I've been working on for a while. It's finally coming to fruition. So it 
is going to be good. But that's what I teach them, how, how to make your phone ring, how to grow your business and make your phone ring. But I will tell you this. You need to look into best practice groups because if you're not making money, if, if I'm losing money every time I send Rob out, the more my phone rings, the more money I'm losing. And that's a tough one to take, but it is the truth. Customer acquisition is a beast. It, it is. It's a monster. Uh, plumbing benefits are fantastic, depending on who you work for. Ricky Neal says, says, hello, Roger and everyone. It is a wonderful day. Uh, hello to you, Ricky. Hope everything is going great. Biffboy6000 says, thanks. Also, a local company around here is known for scamming customers into buying things they don't need. Infuriating to watch. Yeah, it, it's not good. Uh, California pros governor, uh, POS governor, signed fast food workers making minimum $20 an hour. Yeah, that kind of blows my mind. <clears throat> but then again, everybody else is going to have to up their game so they can afford that $20 an hour burger now. Yeah. Roger Wakefield, how can I get my phone to ring and how to network with different plumbing companies? Look, working with different plumbing companies is what we've been talking about. Uh, join Service Plumbers of America on Facebook. Join Service Plumbers of whatever state you're in on Facebook. That'll help. Noah, you're more than welcome. Reach out to other plumbing <clears throat> companies and see if you can take their overflow of the stuff they can't get to, too. And, and that's always a good thing. Yep. Uh, I talked about us turning down 50 calls a week right now. Mm -hmm. We've got other plumbing companies that we will refer that work to. Yep. Global Wildfire Equipment says, much like our industry, there are some things that shortcuts cannot be applied to. Getting started at higher wages is understandable. Just understand that experience can't be replaced with shortcuts. That is true. <clears throat> Tyler says, I'm thinking about starting a plumbing master YouTube channel uh, to help others to be the best tradesmen. And I want to make videos that can help people start their own plumbing companies or businesses. Tyler, there's a ton of them out there, brother. Thousands. Jump in. Yeah, thousands there, there's thousands of them. Of them. <clears throat> You've got to figure out how to do it better. The name of the app will be Wakefield. <clears throat> we looked at a lot of different things, a lot of different things that we wanted to do. But to make it fit on the screen, and actually, man, I can plug this in and show you right here. Uh, this is what it will, maybe. There we go. That is what it will look like. Let me close that down right there. Uh, that will be what the, oh, where'd it go? I don't know. Man. Oh, oh it's over there. I don't know. But, but it went away right here. Okay. Oh, oh, I know why. Because cause it, it unlocked. Okay, well, maybe roll that out later. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. We'll, we'll come back to that one a little bit later. Uh, yeah, I, I showed y'all what it looked like. Let me try it right here one more time just to see. Just blanking out. I know. One, two, three, four, five. That's why it's right here. No, I'm still not doing it. There we go. Okay, so that's what it'll look like. Uh, sorry about all the black screens. It won't stay up very long because, yeah. So that's what it'll look like. It will be called Wakefield. We tried a lot of different things, but where I've got Wakefield across the bottom, none of that would fit. I've got some of the biggest. I've got some of the biggest Apple developers, some of the biggest people at Angel Studios, uh, working on this. It. Any of y'all familiar with Matt's Off Road Recovery? Uh, his app. It that's coming out. The people that are doing his app are doing my app. Uh, Dr. Steve Turley. Uh, the people that are working on his are working on mine. It is going to be fantastic. Uh, so, Tyler, good stuff. Yeah, look, there, there's thousands of companies out there doing it. Just try to jump in and be better than everybody else. Robert Crump says, I'm asking because I landed a job as a school custodian. Pays okay and great benefits. Wanted plumbing apprenticeship, but can't because of schedule. I'd find out, can you get a job as a plumbing apprentice during the day? And find a job where you can be a custodian in the evening or on the weekends. You you may even have a master plumber at your school that you can get in with and possibly mm -hmm. get your apprenticeship. Wombo Becky says, Roger, I'm Beckley from Africa, from Cameroon. Been following you for some time. Been a good journey. Me, will love to learn more and more from you, please, if you don't mind. Can you be my coach in the field? Well, it's hard for me to coach you in the field because I'm in Dallas and you're in Cameroon and I'm not out in the field anymore. But you can do two things. Watch the videos that I do. I teach people how to do plumbing. Uh, that's what the videos have been about up till this point. 
go to the YouTube channel at the bottom, Trade Talks 2.0. Hear me interview a bunch of other plumbers, plumbing company owners, and other tradespeople to find out what made them great. It will be great. The app is not released yet. Hello from a new 21-year-old plumber in Greece. There's another one. There you go. Uh, drink some water. Man, I keep drinking my tea. I just, I'm not drinking fast enough. Uh, yeah, Matt's Off-Road app blew up. Uh, that's why I love that the people that are working on mine are, are the ones that worked on his. Uh, it did blow up, and it's been amazing. Uh, it's been fun to watch, too. It will be on Apple and Android. Thank you, Roger, for answering my questions about starting a plumbing company and business. Global Wildfire Equipment says Saul Daryl's report about how fast that app grew. Man, I look, I, I was at the conference. Daryl's been working with me since April <clears throat> on my app. That's that's why we're as far along as we are. I'm a certified Apple developer now. Uh, so the, the things that I'm working on, I'm working on things. Look, guys, no, no other plumber's doing this stuff, which, which is neat. Uh, I love the fact that I've got the team behind me to help me do that. I don't want to teach people how to connect pipe. That's what high schools are for. That's what trade schools are for. That's what the union's for. I don't want to compete with them. I want to teach people how to get in the trades because there's a lot of people out there that message me every day and say, look, I don't even know how to get a job in plumbing. That's what I want to teach them. Not just how to get a job, how to go in, ace the interview process to understand what these companies are looking for to develop a positive mental mindset, to walk in and do good and make great money, then how to become a great tradesman, then how to start your own business. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that. They think, hey, look, I make a lot of money for this company. I'm going to come out and start my company, but they know nothing about running a business. And then how to use networking and social media to grow the business and, and do what they do there. So, guys, that's what I want to teach. ICAST Enterprises says... And you and your entire team was there learning, have the video footage to prove that. You know, guys, look, I, I, number one, I love what I get to do. The, the fact that I get to take my entire team to stuff like that and let them learn to help us grow, to help us do things better is amazing. We were there to learn about the app, the, the team working with it, got to work with them. Uh, there to learn how to make better videos, how to do better editing, how to create better content. This is not just something you just jump in and do and say, okay, I'm just going to do it. You've got to learn to get better. You've got to want to learn to grow. You've got to learn. It's just like we talked about mindset one day. I want to be the best. If you don't want to be the best, if you're not trying to be the best in what you do, why not? And I'll ask you that each and every day. Why not? So this video is sponsored by Ferguson. We teamed up with Ferguson because of what they do for plumbers, the plumbing companies, and the plumbing communities each and every day. If you want to learn more about Ferguson, go to ferguson.com, check it out. Also, jump over on the Facebook and join their Facebook group. Great place to ask questions. Special guest in here today is Mr. Robert Renfro. Man, look at his shirt. Service Plumbers of Texas. Guys, if you're in Texas, go to the Facebook group, Service Plumbers of Texas. Join there. No matter where you're at, if you're in plumbing, join the group. Service Plumbers of America. And then if you're not in Texas, there is a Service Plumbers of page for your state. Go join it. Put your pictures in. Put your questions in. Treat the community like you would treat your brothers and sisters. Be nice. Be fair to each other and all that. Uh, Rob, man, it's great to have you here today. It's great to come, man. It, it is. It has been fun. Uh, it's neat talking about the trades and everything that we get to do. Answer one or two more questions here real quick. Tyler Foster says, hey, Roger, can you make a video on how to get more clients when you have your own plumbing company? Thanks. Would love to see that video. That's one that we can work on. Wombo Becky says, thank you. You're more than welcome. Uh, and Global Wildlife Wildfire Equipment says, thanks for the education. Guys, look, we get to do amazing things. Uh, as plumbers, we get to take care of our customers and let them know that they've been done right. And at the end of the day, we do that by bringing great value to them. Uh, I hope that each and every one of you get that, understand that, and understand, look, it's up to us to do the right thing each and every day. And the more we do that, the more people we take care of, the better our lives are going to be. So I hope that you all enjoyed everything today. Thanks for bearing with us as we went outside for the solar eclipse and had fun. So thank you each and every one for being here today. There is the scroller across the bottom. 
If you want to see more with Rob Renfro, uh, we'll have that podcast coming out soon. Got a bunch of other one great ones over there. Guys, I'll tell you what. Let me do this real quick. Watch this. I'm going to put a link just for you people that are hanging around because you're my peoples. <clears throat> Y'all, and I say that, you're my people. Here we go. Uh, switch account. Uh, right down here somewhere. Oh, why can't I find it? Hmm. I don't, see, oh, I don't guess I've ever jumped in there on this computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home right here. Where's the link? There we go. There's the link right there. I'm going to put in a link here for y'all and make this really, really easy. So those of y'all that are still in here, Y'all can click on on that link going in right there. Uh, it should be in the comments, and I will put it over here also. Yeah, if you like what you saw in here today, man, give us a thumbs up. I see the hearts. I see all that. Thank you very much. Uh, there, there is a link right there. Guys, go over there and subscribe to that channel. Hit the notification bell because when we do these podcasts and release them, they come out over there. I believe we're still doing every Wednesday. But love to hear what y'all think about the people that we've had in, the people that we've done interviews with. It's not just plumbers. It's plumbers, electricians, HVAC techs, garage door people. Uh, man, I got I got to have Jimmy Dale in here. Oh, yeah. I've had Dustin in here. Man, I mean, I've had some really good people. Tommy Mello, uh, Tyler from Western Welding Academy. We have done some amazing things. So I just want to say thank you to each and every one of y'all. It's been great having y'all in here. And... I hope you enjoyed it. Jump over there and subscribe. Ring the bell. I will see y'all over there. I'm Roger Wakefield. Again, thanks to Rob Renfro. Join Service Plumbers of America. And thank you, Ferguson, for everything you do for plumbers, plumbing companies, and the communities we're in. Thank you, guys. I'm Roger Wakefield, helping you make more money in the trades. It took me, so I have to.